Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video, we'll be talking about seven cool tips and tricks for Zoom users if they're using it on their Android or iOS devices. Now, we have already done a dedicated video of Zoom tricks for Windows and Mac and you can find the link in the description of this video. But hey, just look at this after this particular video because I'm sure most of you would want to know those tips and tricks that you can use on your Android or iOS device while making that video meeting. So well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Okay, so the first trick is very simple, which is to share your screen while you are on a call. Yes, you can do it on your mobile device as well. So while you're on the call, just tap on the share icon that is located in the center and then tap on screen. Once you have granted the app the required permissions, it will start broadcasting your screens to all the participants out there. Now the trick can be very useful if you want to share files like PowerPoint presentation or an Excel workbook that you have on your phone and you want to show the entire, I mean all the participants what you have been working on. And uh, the next trick also can help you with this particular uh, screen sharing or data sharing and that is whiteboard. Yes, you can also enable whiteboard while you're in on a meeting on your Android or iOS device and then share your ideas using that. Now to enable whiteboard, tap on the share icon and then tap again on the option that says whiteboard. Now you can use this space to draw or illustrate anything. Now this comes in really handy when you're trying to explain certain ideas where you need to do diagrams by hand. Now moving on, the next trick is pretty simple, which is to share reaction while you're on call. Now, similar to the desktop client, you can share reactions while you are talking through your mobile app. And it is very useful if you want to uh, express something without interrupting the speaker. Now to do that, just tap on the three dot icon that says more. And here you will be able to either send a clapping or a thumbs up reaction, which will then show up as an overlay on the entire video. Now it's a very simple but useful trick. And while we are in that menu, the next thing that we want to check out there is the option of chat. Now while the meeting is going on, you can also chat with participants and send text messages. And I actually find it very useful. And to do that, simply tap on the more icon and then tap on chat. And here you can even choose to send the message to an individual or everybody who is present on the chat. Now moving on, here's something very exclusive to only mobile devices, but a very useful trick and that is the driving mode. Now in this particular uh, mode, the screen, I mean your webcam is turned off, your microphone is set to mute unless you explicitly turn it on. And uh, this can be very helpful if you, let's say, I mean, you might not be driving at the moment, but let's say you want to attend a meeting and still uh, you want only the audio part and you want to be there, but without sharing yourself on a video and any or every background noises that are around you. Let's say you are cooking and you still want to be in that particular meeting. This particular trick can help you out. Now to switch to this mode, simply swipe from left to right on your meeting screen and voila. Both your video and mic will be muted. Whenever you need to speak anything, just tap on the big circle in the middle of the screen and then you'll be able to speak and then you can tap on it again to mute yourself. Now, I personally use this feature while I'm cooking or doing some household work while I want to be in that meeting. Now, Varun on the other hand has something funny about this uh, particular feature and he uses it pretty differently. Now, let's see what he has to talk about it. Yeah, I use this feature quite a lot, especially when the entire team is on a call and I just have to go and pee really badly. Just saying. Okay, so moving on to the next trick and there have been times where I'm on a video call and somebody sends me a chat message or a text and I miss it. And well, that's where the next trick comes in quite handy. Now simply head over to settings, chat and in the section that says when to notify me, change it to always even if I am active on desktop. Now what this particular feature does is it basically sends you the messages even though you're on a video call so that you are always notified. Now, for some people, it might be uh, kind of intrusive or you don't want to be disturbed, but still, this is a particular point that you must be aware of because just like me, you might also not want to miss out on those important notifications. Now, the last trick in the list are just available for iOS users out there. Now, 
These features are not yet available on Android, but you might never know. They might be pushed in the near future as an update. Now, these two tricks are to change the background like you can do on the desktop app of Zoom and also to give that touch up appearance while you're in a meeting. Now, to change the background, once you are inside a video meeting, just tap on the three dot menu and then tap on virtual background. Here you can select a pic of your choice or upload a pic of your own or just use the default that has been provided by Zoom. Oh, and that's not all. Just like the desktop client, you can also enable a beauty filter of your choice. And now about that beauty filter, you can enable it by heading to settings and then tapping on the option that says meeting. Now here you need to scroll down all the way and tap on touch my appearance. Now just enable the toggle and you are done. So it will give you the beauty effect that you get uh, while taking a selfie from so many phones out there in the market. Now, this particular uh, option is only available on iOS, as I already said, but then might be available for Android in the near future because it's very useful, as you can see. So friends, those were some of the best tips and tricks for all the Zoom users out there for Android and iOS. Now, we have already done a video about tricks for all the Windows and Mac users and you can find the link in the description of this video. Now, if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button right now. So, well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.